Marshall Universe Preview Note before watching, the video contains spoilers. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates. Season 10, Episode 86, How Jai Use Techniques, Capturing Devils. Symbol Grandmaster? Lin Dong's body clearly stiffened for a moment when these two words entered his ears. Following which, there was intense heat surging from deep within his jet black eyes. Symbol Grandmaster. This was a watershed level for the Symbol Masters. There were many people in this world who trained their mental energy. Similarly, there were many people who trained both their mental energy and Yuan power simultaneously. However, there were very few practitioners whose mental energy cultivation could reach the Symbol Grandmaster level. Mental energy was undoubtedly even more ethereal compared to Yuan power. Therefore, trying to reach the level of Symbol Grandmaster was evidently no easy task. Before reaching the Symbol Grandmaster level, the strength of one's mental energy might be a little weaker compared to the powerful and majestic Yuan power. However, upon stepping into this level, the true might of mental energy would be slowly revealed. A Symbol Grandmaster was comparable to a Samsara stage expert. In fact, even a Samsara stage expert would have a great headache when dealing with a top expert, whose mental energy had reached the Symbol Grandmaster level. Currently, Lin Dong's mental energy cultivation was at the advanced Divine Symbol Master level and he was only one step away from the Symbol Grandmaster level. However, he was well aware that he would need a huge chance encounter in order to take this step. However, was this Eternal Illusion Demon Flower the chance encounter that he was waiting for? The Eternal Illusion Demon Flower is able to cause one to fall into a hallucination. The thing that is trapped in the hallucination is not one's physical body, but one's mental energy body. Therefore, from a certain point of view, this is a unique training method for one's mental energy. Of course, the precondition is that one must be able to control this power. Otherwise, not only would one fail to make progress, but one might end up harming one's mental energy body and cause one to wither to death, Yan said in a faint voice. Lin Dong nodded. It seems like this item was both a threat and an opportunity at the same time. Of course, we do not have the time now. Let's resolve the issues here first. Yan's voice had just sounded when a warm white light shot out from within Lin Dong's body. The light gathered and transformed into a white light dagger. The dagger flashed and left three blade glows. It was possible to see three huge pits being cut on the mountain wall. The rocks fell and one could see some dark roots extending from within the soil. The roots were entangled around each other and it appearing exceptionally terrifying, like the face of a ghost. Hiss hiss. That eternal illusion demon flowers seemed to have detected some danger after they were removed from the soil, as they actually emitted sharp cries. The flowers danced before dense black light, which was accompanied by a hallucination fragrance, swiftly swept towards Lin Dong. Lin Dong was startled upon seeing this. He did not expect these plants to be so fearsome even after they were weeded out. Humphrey. Yan's cold snort sounded at this moment. A white light shot out from within Lin Dong's body and turned into an ancient stone talisman. Symbols shot out from the stone talisman like chains and embedded themselves into the rocks that had fallen into the soil. Bang! The rocks burst apart before three complicated black rhizomes emerged under the entwinement of the many symbol chains. They struggled intensely as waves of evil black chi came seeping out. However, these black chi completely disappeared upon making contact with the symbol chains, just like snow meeting lava. Collect. A low cry was emitted from within the stone symbol. The symbol chains retreated while they were directly wrapped around the three eternal illusion demon flowers. After which, they went back into the stone symbol. After they disappeared, most of the strange fragrance within the mountain cave also instantly dissipated. Lin Dong sighed in relief after he saw that the eternal illusion demon flowers were subjugated by Yan. Thankfully, he possessed the ancestor stone, a divine object that is extremely proficient at dealing with the Yimo. Otherwise, it was likely that he would not dare to enter this mountain cave, it is time to remove the hallucination fragrance within his body now. Lin Dong's eyes turned towards the tribe leader of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe, who was seated on a stone platform. His expression was grave. If they were unable to remove the hallucination fragrance within the latter's body, there was no telling just how long they would have to wait for him to awaken on his accord. Relax. Yan replied. A light rose and appeared above the head of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe leader. After which, a humming sound was emitted. Warm light scattered downwards and enveloped him. Sizzle sizzle. With the many rays of light enveloping around him, the rock-like body of the celestial demon Martin tribe leader began to tremble slightly. After which, 
there were traces of extremely faint black chi being emitted from his pores. Those black chi contained a strange fragrance. That black chi emitted an ear-piercing sound when it made contact with the white light covering the body of the celestial demon Martin tribe leader. Soon after, they began to dissipate. Standing by the side, Lin Dong stood quietly without making a sound. All he did, was stare at the face of the celestial demon Martin tribe leader. The latter currently had extremely interesting expressions. The majority of them were lost and confused expression. Clearly, with the removal of the traces of hallucination fragrance within his body, the hallucination that he was in was no longer a perfect one. After all, if even the slightest flaw was to appear in the hallucination, attempting to trap a peak level expert like him would no longer be a simple task. This cleansing continued on for half a day. Only then, did Lin Dong see that the light that was emitted from the Ancestor Stone, was being retracted a bit at a time. The body of the Ancestor Stone shook after the final ray of light returned back to it. It subsequently turned into a ray of light and tunneled back into Lin Dong's body. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong understood that the cleansing had been completed. He joyously looked at the seated celestial demon Martin tribe leader. However, he was stunned when he realized that the latter still showed no signs of awakening. Although the hallucination fragrance in his body has been completely removed, he has been trapped in the hallucination for such a long period of time. Hence, he must be completely conscious before he can awaken. Otherwise, he will be confused between reality and hallucination, which would end up hurting his mind. Yan explained. Lin Dong came to a sudden comprehension after hearing this. He quickly began to feel a little fearful. The eternal illusion demon flower was indeed impressive. It's no wonder it was able to trap a peak reincarnation stage expert, like the celestial demon Martin tribe leader. Let's not bother about him for now. Whether he awakens or not will depend entirely on him. Let's first head to the other places in the cave and collect those eternal illusion demon flowers. At the same time, we will also be doing them a huge favor. Yan smilingly said. Lin Dong did not have any objections to this. He could help the celestial demon Martin tribe resolve their problems and obtain the exceptionally rare eternal illusion demon flowers at the same time. This was something that he was glad to oblige to. With this thought in mind, Lin Dong turned around and left the cave. Subsequently, he roamed the heavenly cave and found many closed caves along the way. Within these caves, were peak experts of the celestial demon Martin tribe. Meanwhile, they were also trapped in the hallucination created by the eternal illusion demon flowers. Lin Dong waved his hand and collected all of these flowers, which were considered mystical treasures to him. Using the power of the Ancestor's Stone, he completely removed the hallucination fragrance within the bodies of these top experts. Lin Dong managed to collect quite a sustainable number of flowers along the way. The number of Eternal Illusion Demon flowers that he had increased from 3 to 9. Based on what Yan said, the more of those he collected, the more effective it would be for his mental energy cultivation. There were a couple of caves within the heavenly cave that Lin Dong was unable to enter. This was because a seal was placed at their entrance. These seals were placed by those experts, who were currently undergoing a cultivation seclusion within. This caused Lin Dong to feel extremely helpless. He could enter the cave where the tribe leader of the celestial demon Martin tribe was in, because he possessed his essence blood feather. Otherwise, he could only stand by helplessly at the entrance of his cave, the two or three sealed mountain caves were likely occupied by extremely powerful people, who had a high status in the celestial demon Martin tribe. This was something that Lin Dong deduced simply by standing at the entrance of their caves and quietly gauging the pressure that was being emitted from within. Unfortunately, all of them should have also fallen into a hallucination as well. However, Lin Dong could only give up because of the seal placed at their entrance. This was something that they could resolve after the tribe leader of the celestial demon Martin tribe left his seclusion. Time quietly passed as Lin Dong roamed the interior of the heavenly cave. Two days passed by in the blink of an eye. However, Lin Dong was still unable to detect the awakening of the celestial demon Martin tribe leader. This caused him to feel a little anxious in his heart. After all, it was almost time for the celestial demon Martin tribe to decide on the tribe leader's successor. Lin Dong roamed aimlessly within the heavenly cave. There was an eternal illusion demon flower, which was currently wrapped by symbol chains, in his hand. This terrifying object, which would cause a samsara stage expert's expression to change drastically, was currently dancing around randomly like a whip in his hand. It seems like I have reached the end of the heavenly cave? Lin Dong suddenly came to a stop. He could sense some resistance appearing in the dark space in front of him. A tinge of shock flashed past his eyes. After a brief moment of hesitation, he extended his hand and gently touched the space in front of him. Buzz. 
the dark space in front fluctuated before circular ripples spread. However, no cave appeared behind it. Huh? Lin Dong gasped in surprise. His hand touched the dark space before he vaguely felt extremely ancient and obscure powerful ripples being emitted from within the dark space. That sensation was even stronger than that of the celestial demon Martin tribe leader. Could it be that the one in a seclusion behind this place is some super old demon from the celestial demon Martin tribe? Lin Dong muttered to himself. He did not detect the fragrance of the eternal illusion demon flower from behind. It seems like this was the only place which had not been invaded by the eternal illusion demon flowers. This caused Lin Dong to be greatly startled. It seems like the mysterious old demon in a seclusion here was terrifyingly powerful. The celestial demon Martin tribe indeed possessed an extremely strong foundation. Lin Dong did not linger in this place. He merely took a deep glance at the dark space before turning around. He roamed around the place before returning to the cave, where the leader of the celestial demon Martin tribe, was located. Huh? Lin Dong became focused when he had just entered the cave, before he immediately lifted his head. His eyes looked towards the stone platform, before he saw the originally unmoving stone-like figure, slowly opening his sharp eyes, which had been tightly shut for a hundred years. Bang! A vast and mighty Yuan power storm suddenly churned within the cave the moment this figure opened his eyes. The terrifying pressure caused Lin Dong's body to tremble gently. Lin Dong did not feel any fear upon detecting this pressure. Instead, joy rose on his face. That old fellow had finally awoken. In front of the ancestral temple of the celestial demon Martin tribe. The ancestral temple is an important place for the tribe and typically speaking, it had relatively tight security. However, this place was filled with loud voices and was extremely lively today. This was because the celestial demon Martin tribe would select the successor to the tribe leader today. This matter was considered as an exceptionally important event for the celestial demon Martin tribe. Hence, they had to hold it in a sacred place, like the ancestral temple, in order to demonstrate how important the event was. There was an altar square, which was made from extremely ancient rocks, standing in front of the ancestral temple. A huge stone tablet stood on the altar and this stone tablet had the names of many ancestors of the celestial demon Martin tribe inscribed on it. All of these ancestors had achieved great accomplishments. A lively atmosphere enveloped the altar square in front of the ancestral temple. However, amidst the din, there was something faintly peculiar about the atmosphere. The source of that irregularity stemmed from the two clearly divided groups standing on the square. Standing on the left, their leader was a tall figure with a handsome devil-like appearance. Both of his lips were curled tightly, appearing just like blades. Meanwhile, an icy sharpness was present on him. His elongated eyes were filled with an inborn sense of pride and he stood out even when standing amongst this group. This person was naturally Little Martin. Currently, both of his hands were lowered as his eyes stared at the stone tablet erected in front of him. His handsome face seemed to be devoid of any emotions. Unlike the group standing behind him, he did not stare at the group on the right with icy cold and cautious eyes. The other faction also had quite a large number of people. Their leader was Hao Jiayu, whom Lin Dong had met before. Even though his aura was inferior to Little Martin's, his face was filled with a warm smile. As he occasionally chatted with those standing behind him, his laughter felt just like the spring breeze. This person was extremely scheming and one had to admit that his demeanor made it easy for him to leave a good impression and convince others to join his side. Humphrey, what a hypocrite. Standing beside Little Martin, Wu Zhang glanced at Hao Jiayu and snorted coldly. His voice was filled with disdain. As a supporter of Little Martin, he naturally did not have a good impression of Hao Jiayu. Be quiet. Otherwise, others might start criticizing you again. Little Martin said without turning his head around. Wu Zhang curled his lips reluctantly. If not for the fact that Little Martin had been missing for a hundred years, Hao Jiayu would definitely not dare to act in such a haughty manner, given the former's prestige within the celestial demon Martin tribe. I wonder how young brother Lin Dong is doing. It has been a couple of days since he entered the heavenly cave. Wu Zhang spoke in a soft voice. There was a slight tinge of anxiety in his voice. There was a slight change in Little Martin's expression when he heard this. Following which, he shook his head helpless. There was no point in worrying about this issue for now. However, given his understanding of Lin Dong, he knew that it was unlikely for the latter to run into any major problem. Moreover, the tribe leader successor is about to be selected. Based on the current situation, it seems like that fellow has quite a high chance of success. If he is selected as the tribe leader successor, his say in the tribe will only grow by the day. At that time, it is likely that the tribe leader will not be able to turn things around even if he leaves his cultivation seclusion. 
Wu Zhang sighed. They were well aware of Hao Jiu's methods. If the latter was selected to become the tribe leader successor, he would definitely quietly suppress and exclude them. It is pointless to think about it now. Little Martin shook his head. Since the situation had already developed until this stage, it was pointless to think about it for now. Moreover, did Hao Jiu really believe that it was going to be so easy to snatch his position? Little Martin slowly clenched his long hands tightly. Meanwhile, the sharpness on the corner of his lips became increasingly icy. Many pairs of eyes present were looking back and forth between the two groups standing in front. Those eyes, that were looking at Little Martin, were filled with pity and regret. There were many people from the same generation as Little Martin and they clearly knew who held absolute prestige in the Celestial Demon Martin tribe back then. Back then, Little Martin's talent and prestige was unmatched amongst the Celestial Demon Martin tribe younger generation members. At that time, everyone thought that Little Martin was definitely going to become the next tribe leader. However, that accident completely changed the situation. In front of the ancestral temple, the din in the square continued. In fact, the din only gradually died down when ten elders appeared on the stage in front of the ancestral temple. After the old tribe leader went into a seclusion, Little Martin, who was supposed to take this opportunity to establish his position, disappeared for a hundred years. Therefore, most of the tribe matters were now handled by these elders and they clearly held a high status in the celestial demon Martin tribe. On the stage, the leader amongst the ten elders was a grey-robed old man with white hair. Although he was already quite old, his skin appeared like that of a baby. There was a glint flashing within his gently shut eyes, while an extremely powerful Yuan power fluctuation spread when he lifted his hand. This person was the current first elder of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe, Julie. Julie's eyes slowly swept across the altar square. When he looked at them, many members of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe displayed a respectful expression. However, Little Martin merely nodded to him when he turned to look at Little Martin. Julie looked at Little Martin, before he nodded his head and withdrew his gaze. However, he secretly sighed in his heart. A hundred years ago, not a single person from the younger generation could match up to the latter. Even Hao Jiayu, who was now the most outstanding younger generation member, was merely the latter's lackey at that time. Unfortunately, a hundred years had allowed those behind him to catch up. Everyone is well aware of the reason why we have gathered here today. The tribe leader has been in a seclusion for a hundred years and we need someone to handle the tribe matters. However, the tribe leader is not showing any signs of coming out from his seclusion. Hence, the tribe needs to select a tribe leader successor. Julie's eyes scanned his surroundings as he spoke in a deep voice. There are currently two candidates in the tribe, Adiao and Hao Jiayu. Their reputation within the tribe are equal to each other and the elder council has difficulties coming to a conclusion even after a discussion. Everyone in the square nodded. Little Martin and Hao Jiayu. One of them had already made a name for himself in the Celestial Demon Martin tribe a long time ago, while the other had risen in recent years. However, Hao Jiayu's performance over the recent years did not lose out to Little Martin's back then. It was indeed difficult to pick between the two of them. It is precisely because of this that we have finally decided to adopt the most primitive method. The victor shall be king. Julie slowly said. His eyes drifted towards the calm-looking Little Martin when he uttered these words. He had always maintained a neutral position in the tribe. However, in reality, he leaned a little closer to Little Martin's father. Hence, he also supported Little Martin. However, owing to his status, it was impossible for him to openly support Little Martin as he must remain impartial. After all, that was his responsibility as the first elder of the tribe. Little Martin and Hao Jiayu were both powerful experts, who had stepped into the Samsara stage. In fact, even amongst the entire Celestial Demon Martin tribe, the both of them were considered as outstanding members. Hence, after some deliberation, they concluded that the both of them were pretty good candidates for the position of tribe leader successor. Since it was difficult to make a choice through voting, they could only use the method advocated in the demonic beast world. The strongest was king. After all that talk, we still end up fighting. Wu Zhang curled his lips and said. This is the easiest and most direct method. Little Martin replied in a faint voice. However, as of now, that fellow is no simple pushover. In fact, his strength is likely not inferior to yours. I really wonder how his strength has soared so rapidly over the last hundred years. Could it be that he has been suppressing it all along? Wu Zhang frowned. Meanwhile, his tone also became a little more solemn. After all, he had personally witnessed Hao Jiayu's shocking rise in the Celestial Demon Martin tribe over the past hundred years. A couple of years ago, the latter had even fought with an elder and defeated him. After which, 
his reputation within the tribe soared to its peak. Although Wu Zhang greatly disliked Hao Jiayu, he did not dare to underestimate the latter's frightening strength. In fact, even though he had trained for a longer period of time, he knew that he would likely lose in a real fight. Many voices rose from the originally quiet square after Ju Li's voice sounded. A few pairs of eyes continuously stared at Little Martin and Hao Jiayu, while their eyes contained a look of curiosity. Clearly, they wanted to find out who was the stronger one, out of these two outstanding Celestial Demon Martin tribe members. Do the both of you have any objections to the Elder Council's decision? Julie looked towards Little Martin and Hao Jiayu before asking. Hao Jiayu smiled slightly and shook his head after hearing this. However, someone standing beside him suddenly asked, First Elder, it is rumored that someone tried to barge into the Heavenly Cave a couple of days ago. That act is against the rules of the tribe. Julie frowned slightly, before he glanced at the person standing beside Hao Jiayu. He was naturally aware of this matter. However, he did not pursue this matter after considering the fact that Little Martin was worried about his father. Nevertheless, Little Martin had indeed broken the rules of the tribe. By mentioning this now, it was obvious that this person was trying to accuse Little Martin of ignoring the rules of the tribe. Ha ha, first elder, please do not pay any attention to him. Big brother Radiao is an extremely rational person and he merely acted reckless in this matter. This is pardonable. Hence, please do not fault Big brother Radiao. Hao Jiayu smiled before chiding the person who had spoken, standing beside him. Damn it, this bastard really knows how to put up a show. Wu Zhang's face turned green in fury. Would that fella dare to mention this matter if he had not been instructed by Hao Jiayu? Now, this incident merely ended up bolstering Hao Jiayu's reputation. Little Martin's handsome face was still devoid of emotions. He merely glanced deeply at a smiling Hao Jiayu. A smile that was devoid of joy or anger appeared. Brother Jiayu, Thank you for understanding. I have been gone for a hundred years and my training has been greatly neglected. Hence, I also wish to find out just how much stronger you were compared to back then. How Jiayu stared at Little Martin's handsome face, before his pupils shrunk. As he recalled the latter's former glory, even someone like him felt his heart shudder. However, his present self was no longer the same as back then. I will let everyone know that my present self already stands above you, the previous top genius of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe. Hao Jiayu slowly clenched the hands under his sleeves as he slowly stepped forward. A murderous intent lingered over his heart as he stepped forward. When Hao Jiayu walked into the arena, many surrounding pairs of eyes gathered and focused their attention on him. Back then, Little Martin was undoubtedly the most dazzling figure amongst his generation. At that time, Hao Jiayu was merely a timid youth who followed behind him. Hence, no one expected that a hundred years later, this once unassuming young man, would become the greatest competitor to Little Martin for the position of tribe leader successor. Ha! Big Brother Adiao. We have not met for a hundred years. I will be seeking pointers from you today. Hao Jiayu cupped his hands towards Little Martin and smilingly said. You have seriously changed. Little Martin took a glance at Hao Jiayu. Back then, this once quiet young man with low self-esteem who had even trembled when he first stood in front of him, had undergone a complete transformation. Big Brother Adiao has always been a target that I wish to surpass. If I don't change, I'm afraid that I will never be able to do so. Hao Jiayu smiled. His eyes stared intently at Little Martin. Perhaps it was because of the angle, but Little Martin could see a ferocious expression from his smile. The person in front of him was no longer the same timid young man, who needed his help when he was being bullied. In that case, Allow me to see if your current self has the ability to do so. Some ripples were stirred within Little Martin's eyes, before they quickly disappeared. After which, a sharp glint slowly gathered within his eyes. If the both of you do not have any objections, this match shall determine the tribe leader successor. However, both of you must remember that this is a spar and neither of you are allowed to use lethal force. Standing on the stage, Julie looked at the two figures in a face-off. Then, he secretly sighed before he spoke in a deep voice. Big Brother Adiao, please show mercy. Even though Hao Jiayu was full of smiles, his eyes did not contain even the slightest bit of joy. Instead, there was an icy chilliness in them. After all, he wanted everyone to see that this once dazzling top genius of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe will be trampled by him today. Bang! A frightening aura came whistling out from his body as his voice sounded. Vast and mighty Yuan power surged around Hao Jiayu's body, Life Qi and Death Qi were perfectly merged together in his Yuan power. Evidently, he had reached the Samsara stage. Little Martin took a step forward. A similarly powerful aura also radiated from him and suppressed Hao Jiayu's aura. 
straightening all his fingers, there were sharp purple black light arcs dancing between them. Big Brother Adiao, it seems like you have not spent the past hundred years in vain. Back then, you had yet to advance into the Samsara stage. How Jai Yu smilingly said. However, there was no surprise in his eyes. Clearly, he already knew about Little Martin's strength. However, I wonder if your Samsara stage strength is stronger or if mine is better. A cold glint flashed deep within Hao Jiayu's eyes. His body moved before he directly appeared beside Little Martin in a phantom-like fashion. Soon after, he transformed into many after-images. Each of these after-images straightened all ten of their fingers, before an extremely sharp and icy cold force mercilessly smashed towards the fatal spots all over Little Martin's body. Our tribe's demon illusion body has been mastered by you. However, it is useless against me. Little Martin looked at the many after-images, which had appeared in his vision before he chuckled. Purple black light flashed across his eyes before he suddenly slammed his palm forward. Vast and mighty Yuan power rose from his palm, like the rising bright sun. Bang! Little Martin's palm smashed heavily against one after image. Subsequently, the other after images collapsed before the real Hao Jiayu also appeared in a flash. His two straightened fingers were pressing against Little Martin's palm, while vast and mighty Yuan power covered his entire arm. Crack! The stone floor under both parties' feet cracked because of the Yuan power seeping out from their palm and fingers. You should come at me head on if you wish to defeat me. These techniques are useless against me. Little Martin glanced at Hao Jiayu, who was standing in front of him, before he said in a faint voice. Ha ha, in that case, I shall do as you say. Hao Jiayu smiled. However, the icy cold glint within his eyes intensified. He withdrew his fingers before his body rose directly into the sky. Moving both of his hands, vast and mighty natural Yuan power came whistling forth like floodwaters. After which, one could see many dark purple stars forming in Hao Jiayu's palm. Great Nine Stars Palm? Many onlookers around the square exclaimed upon witnessing this scene. Clearly, this so-called Great Nine Stars Palm was quite renowned in their celestial demon Martin tribe. Great Nine Stars Palm huh? Some emotions also rose from within Little Martin's eyes. Soon after, he took a step forward before a fluctuation appeared on his palm. It turns out there was also a purple color star ray forming on his palm. Clearly, he was planning to use the same martial art. Buzz buzz. Wild and violent Yuan power whizzed across the place like a flowing river. Within 10 breaths time, a 9 star ray was formed in both Little Martin's and Hao Jiayu's palm. The 9 star rays were dazzling, but everyone could detect a powerful energy contained within. In fact, even an ordinary Samsara stage expert could only dodge one up against this formidable attack. The both of them turned to face each other after their attacks were formed. They could both see an unfriendly emotion from the other party's eyes. Yuan power gushed forth an instant later before two huge light palms collided. After which, the nine star rays danced between their glowing palms, while giving off a shocking force. Bang! The light palms were just like two meteorites colliding in the sky. As a dazzling light spread, the violent energy ripples began to spread like flood water. Both of them remained unbudging despite the impact from the energy assault waves. Their eyes were just like that of a sharp eagle's as they stared intently at each other. After which, both of their bodies disappeared simultaneously. Swoosh swoosh. A deafening rushing wind sound reverberated across the sky. Two light figures crossed each other in a phantom-like fashion. When their palm attacks clashed, vast and mighty Yuan power would spread. In fact, the force from each palm attack could easily destroy a mountain and it was truly a heart-stirring sight. Adiao and Hao Jiayu are equally matched. Such a fight is indeed going to be an intense one. Julie stared at the two light figures clashing violently in the sky, before he involuntarily nodded and said. Hao Jiayu has trained exceptionally hard over the past hundred years. Although his talent is inferior to Adiao, his character does not lose out to the latter. An elder commented in a faint voice. His tone clearly indicated that he was rooting for Hao Jiayu. Julie glanced at this elder, who had quite a huge say in the celestial demon Martin tribe. Since a long time ago, this fellow bore a grudge against Little Martin's father. Hence, he was naturally unwilling to see the position of tribe leader successor fall into Little Martin's hands. Although Adiao is arrogant and untamable, he has improved after being tested for the past hundred years. Moreover, if our celestial demon Martin tribe loses that sharp spirit, we will likely become unworthy of the name Celestial Demon Martin. Another elder laughed and said. With these two clashing with their words, the remaining elders also began to voice their opinions. However, from the looks of it, it seems like there were more elders who supported Hao Jiayu. 
After all, Hao Jiayu's performance over the past hundred years could only be described as flawless. Zhu Lian voluntarily frowned after hearing the arguments from the elders. After which, he did not voice his opinion as he lifted his head to look at the two figures in the sky. From the looks of it, the both of them were very powerful and it was no easy task for either one of them to defeat the other. Therefore, there was a very high likelihood that this match would end in a draw. Boom! The two figures crossed each other in the sky. Vast and mighty Yuan power came sweeping forth, before the both of them shot backwards. After which, their bodies shook before two pairs of 10,000 feet large bat wings were extended behind their backs, blotting out the sun in the process. However, Hao Jiayu's bat wings were dark black while Little Martin's wings had some mysterious purple gold symbols. This indicated that Little Martin had a purer bloodline. The two pairs of bat wings slowly flapped before two giant hurricanes, that were tens of thousands of feet in size, were swiftly formed in front of them. One was black, while the other was purple gold. Rumble. The entire world was turned into a mess after being ravaged by these two huge hurricanes. In fact, some surrounding mountains, that were more than a hundred thousand feet away, even began to collapse. The two of them extended their hands simultaneously before they directly reached into their huge hurricanes. Their arms shook before the two enormous hurricane turned. They appeared just like two wind dragons as they wildly whistled forward. Boom! The two hurricanes with vast and mighty Yuan power clashed in the sky. After which, they left numerous dark black cracks in the empty space itself. In fact, the entire world became dimmer. Crack crack. The two of them had poured a relatively large amount of Yuan power into their respective hurricanes. However, they still ended up in a stalemate. Clearly, the two of them were quite evenly matched. Such powerful individuals. Unexpectedly, Adiao is still so formidable despite being missing for a hundred years. Hao Jiayu is also pretty decent. However, from the looks of it, he is still unable to defeat Big Brother Adiao. A draw is already a pretty decent result. If it was not because Big Brother Adiao was ambushed and had went missing for a hundred years, it is likely that no one within the Celestial Demon Martin tribe could contest with him for the position of tribe leader successor. That's right. Many conversations began to spread from below, while the crazy face-off in the sky entered into a stalemate. Hao Jiayu's hand suddenly grabbed his black hurricane. His face, which was originally filled with a warm smile, suddenly became extremely icy cold. Meanwhile, a venomous and unwilling glint was flowing within his pupils. You bastard. Do you know what kind of price I paid over the past hundred years in order to obtain this strength? Don't tell me that I still cannot defeat someone like you, who has been hiding and recuperating as a fragmented existence over the last hundred years. How Jiayu secretly bellowed while dense fury surged in his heart. This caused a scarlet color to vaguely appear deep within his eyes. I am the most outstanding person in the Celestial Demon Martin tribe. The scarlet color in Hao Jiayu's pupils grew increasingly dense. He suddenly clenched his hand, which had been inserted into the black hurricane, before a strange symbol stealthily appeared. How can a genius like you understand the pain that I had to go through? Like I said, I, Hao Jiayu, will definitely trample you today. A black symbol appeared on Hao Jiayu's palm. It looked akin to a complex network of tree roots. Countless black light rays spread before they filled Hao Jiayu's entire palm. Faintly, extremely dark and vicious ripples began to spread. I have waited a hundred years for this. How can I let you off so easily today? Hao Jiayu inserted his palm into the black hurricane. Both his eyes contained a scarlet color as he stared at the distant little Martin. Following which, he secretly smirked before he suddenly clenched his hand. Sizzle sizzle. After Hao Jiayu clenched his hand, it was possible to see many densely packed black light rays shooting out from his palm, which was hidden within the black hurricane. Those black light rays shuttled within the black hurricane and they looked like complicated meridians. Buzz. These black light rays were mixed with the black hurricane, causing its color to deepen. However, it was difficult to detect this change with one's naked eyes, as these two colors were fairly similar. Only some powerful elders vaguely realized that how Jiayu's hurricane had suddenly became much stronger. Bang. Many cracks were continuously formed in the empty space where the two hurricanes collided. Loud thunderous noises also spread in waves and resounded across the sky. These two hurricanes contained the vast and mighty Yuan power from the two of them respectively. Even if they casually swung them around, these hurricanes still possessed a force that could shake the world. Moreover, the two of them were evenly matched and even in an intense fight like this, it was still very difficult to tell who would obtain the upper hand. However, it was clear that this stalemate would not last forever. Swish. The moment those black meridians spread across the black hurricane, 
the empty space where these two hurricanes collided, also began to collapse at an even faster pace. Meanwhile, the wild and mighty Yuan power present within the purple gold hurricane actually began to dissipate a little at a time, after being corroded by that black hurricane. The stalemate was instantly broken at this moment. The black hurricane was just like a brutal black dragon that had left the abyss, as it roared towards the sky and ruthlessly charged towards the purple gold hurricane with a brutal expression. Bang bang bang! Up against this fearsome attack from the black hurricane, the purple gold hurricane, which was originally evenly matched with the former, actually began to collapse an inch at a time. After which, just like a triggered chain reaction, the 10,000 feet large vast and powerful Yuan power purple gold hurricane exploded, in front of many stunned onlookers. Swoosh! After the purple gold hurricane collapsed, Hao Jiu's body flashed like a black ray of light. In the next instant, he appeared in front of little Martin, who was currently in shock due to this unexpected development. After which, he threw his palm forward. There were peculiar black tattoos wrapped around Hao Jiu's palm. Those black tattoos wiggled quietly like poisonous snakes, appearing extremely dark and sinister. Humphrey! Little Martin snorted coldly in his heart after he saw that Hao Jiu was still chasing after him. Clenching his fist, purple black light swiftly gathered in his bomb. After which, he gathered all the strength in his body and threw a punch forward. Hao Jiu involuntarily split his lips into a smile after he saw that Little Martin was planning on countering his attack head on. Meanwhile, his expression became even more sinister. Bang! A fist and palm clashed, before a huge energy ripple, which could be seen with one's naked eye swept across the sky with a loud bang. In fact, the shockwave completely shattered the clouds in the sky. Standing beneath that terrifying energy assault wave, the expressions of everyone below changed drastically. This was because they saw little Martin's body flying backwards by 10,000 feet. After which, he slammed heavily against the wall of a mountain, causing large rocks to tumble. Whoa! A series of shocked exclamations spread below. This fight had actually ended with Hao Jiayu gaining the upper hand, how is this possible? Previously, Hao Jiayu was evenly matched with Adiao. Why did he suddenly become so much stronger? Wu Zhang clenched his hand tightly and cried out furiously when he saw this scene. Some members of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe in the vicinity also frowned slightly. Clearly, they did not comprehend the situation. This. On the stage, when Julie's group saw this scene, they were all shocked as well. After all, Based on the strength that the both of them had displayed previously, their fight should not have concluded this quickly. Ha! it seems like Hao Jiayu still came out on top. But this is only to be expected. Everyone has witnessed his hard work over the past hundred years. Adiao might be shockingly talented, but he is still lagging behind by a hundred years. An elder laughed as he said. Um, first elder, this match has already been decided. Shall we? Another elder, who also supported Hao Jiayu, nodded and asked. Julie frowned, before he exchanged glances with a couple of elders. After a brief moment of hesitation, he helplessly nodded his head. How Jiayu wins? Julie lifted his head, before he looked at the figure in the sky and announced in a deep voice. Ha! Big Brother Adiao, thank you for the victory. How Jiayu's face once again regained its usual warm smile. He looked at the dented mountain wall in the distance, before he cupped his hand together and smilingly said. Bang! The mountain wall exploded before a figure rushed out as rock fragments flew. At this moment, little Martin's expression was a little gloomy and there was still some black chi lingering over his long arms. Moreover, those black chi were trying to invade his body from all directions. Fortunately, he managed to block them after using his full strength. After all, those energy were extremely overbearing. Little Martin furrowed his brows. Previously, Hao Jiayu was only able to fight equally with him. However, the former subsequently used some hidden techniques, which allowed his strength to soar abruptly. Moreover, his techniques were a little peculiar. That power does not belong to you, am I right? Little Martin's sharp eyes stared at Hao Jiayu as he slowly said. Big Brother Adiao, what are you saying? Hao Jiayu smiled faintly. Then, he completely ignored Little Martin as he turned around and looked at Ju Li below and said, First Elder, since the match has been decided, May I know if the position of tribe leader successor? Julie secretly sighed. After which, he nodded and said, From today onwards, the new tribe leader successor of the celestial demon Martin tribe is Hao Jiayu. An uproar spread across the square when Julie's voice sounded. Many members of the celestial demon Martin tribe had a look of pity as they stared at little Martin. Who could have imagined that this once incomparably dazzling genius would actually end up defeated? 
Little Martin ignored the many pairs of eyes. He merely took a deep glance at Hao Jiayu before landing on the ground. Adiao. Wu Zhang hurriedly came forward to greet Little Martin after the latter landed on the ground. Then, he gritted his teeth and said, How is it possible for that fellow to defeat you? Little Martin waved his hand. Although he also had some doubts in his heart, voicing his doubts now would clearly cause members of his tribe to think that he was a narrow-minded individual, who could not accept his loss. Hence, it was pointless for him to say anything for now. How Jiayu stood alone in the sky as he overlooked the many members of the celestial demon Martin tribe from above. The warm smile on the corner of his lips grew even richer and this was especially the case when he saw Little Martin's lonely figure. In fact, there was joy rising from within his heart. He was not blessed with extraordinary talents since young. Fortunately, he possessed a sharp mind and a ruthless heart. Hence, he was finally able to trample over this once dazzling genius of the celestial demon Martin tribe. This alone was sufficient to prove that he was the most outstanding person in the celestial demon Martin tribe. From today onwards, no one within the same generation of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe would be able to compete with him. In the near future, the entire Celestial Demon Martin tribe will also fall under his control. How Jiayu had the impulse to laugh out loud when he thought of this. After enduring for so many years, he had finally tasted success. Let's go. Little Martin said to Wu Zhang. After which, he turned around and left. Wu Zhang could only sigh upon seeing this. He understood Little Martin well and knew just how proud the latter was. As such, he knew that Little Martin must be feeling extremely terrible about the defeat that he suffered today. Ha! To think that someone from the Celestial Demon Martin tribe would actually use the strength of the Yimo. How unexpected! However, a familiar laughter was suddenly transmitted from the distance, just as Little Martin turned around. Finally, it reverberated across the sky while being wrapped by Yuan power. Lindong? Little Martin's body stiffened when he heard this laughter. He suddenly turned around and looked at the sky with joyous eyes. Who is it? Standing in the sky, Hao Jiayu's expression suddenly changed before he cried out sternly. Standing below him, the many experts from the Celestial Demon Martin tribe were also startled. Immediately, they scanned their surroundings in an attempt to locate the person who had just spoken. Swoosh! A rushing wind sound appeared from the distance. Soon after, a figure flew out and appeared in the sky in front of many pairs of eyes. The person who had just shown up was exactly Lin Dong, who had entered the heavenly cave a few days ago. Who are you? How dare you barge into our celestial demon Martin tribe? Are you courting death? Some elders in the celestial demon Martin tribe were furious when they saw him. Immediately, vast and mighty Yuan power surged as they prepared to capture him. This young friend, may I know what exactly do you mean? Julie waved his hand and stopped the many elders. His eyes were staring intently at Lin Dong. That was because he clearly heard what the latter said previously. Moreover, as the first elder of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe, he was naturally familiar with the word Yimo. You elders of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe are truly a muddle-headed bunch. Not only has the Yimo invaded your tribe, but a trap was even placed within your heavenly cave and all the experts currently undertaking a seclusion within, have fallen into a hallucination. To think that all of you have failed to detect it even after so many years. You guys have really become a bunch of dotards. Lin Dong glanced at those elders and involuntarily laughed coldly. Brat, how dare you utter such nonsense? You are truly courting death. The two celestial demon Martin tribe elders, who had consistently supported Hao Jiayu, had a drastic change in their expressions. They cried out before they charged forward explosively. Both of them attacked together as they tried to capture Lin Dong. When Lin Dong saw those two elder charging towards him ruthlessly, he curled his lips. However, he showed no intention of putting up a defense. Buzz. However, the space behind Lin Dong suddenly rippled when those two elders were about to reach him. Following which, a dark golden-haired majestic figure appeared beside him. The latter extended his hand and clenched it. Immediately, the bodies of the two celestial demon Martin tribe elders, who have reached the Samsara stage, froze. The both of you are so anxious to deliver a killing blow. Is it because you guys have a guilty conscience? The majestic figure's eyes contained an endlessly majestic aura as he stared at the two elders in front of him, who now wore terrified expressions. Finally, his deep voice sounded. Tribe leader? Greetings to the tribe leader. The many celestial demon Martin tribe members had a drastic change in their expressions when they saw the figure in the sky. All of them began to kneel a moment later before their respectful voice reverberated across the entire place. A large number of people on the square were kneeling down. Meanwhile, a tinge of joy and excitement, which could not be concealed, 
surged onto the faces of all the celestial demon Martin tribe members present. Their tribe leader had been in a cultivation seclusion for a hundred years. Although there were elders handling the tribe's matters, they only acknowledged the tribe leader as their true leader. Amidst the kneeling figures, little Martin stood up straight. He stared at the imposing figure in the sky, before he curled his lips slightly. However, there was joy and relief rising deep within his eyes. Little Martin also knew that as of now, he was still unable to shoulder the burden of the entire celestial demon Martin tribe. This responsibility still had to be carried by his father. Standing in the sky, Hao Jiu's expression changed drastically when he saw that the celestial demon Martin tribe leader had appeared. However, he quickly concealed his expression, before he knelt down respectfully and greeted the tribe leader. Nevertheless, he involuntarily clenched his fist, which was hidden under his sleeve. Tribe leader. In the sky, the two elders, who were planning to attack Lin Dong, also had a drastic change in their expressions. In fact, there was a trace of fear in their eyes as they hurriedly knelt down in mid-air. That imposing figure standing in front of Lin Dong, calmly surveyed the situation in front of him. After which, he turned his head and looked at the only tall figure standing below. Immediately, a complicated expression flashed across his eyes. You unfilial son. So you are still alive. Little Martin glanced at the celestial demon Martin tribe leader. His lazy voice held little respect as he said, Old man, are you so anxious to attend the funeral of your own child? Outrageous, how rude. The tribe leader of the celestial demon Martin tribe chided. However, judging by the smile on his face, everyone could tell just how happy he was after he finally saw his own son again, who had been missing for a hundred years. Tribe leader, you have finally left your seclusion. Julie also stood up at this moment. His body moved before he appeared in front of the celestial demon Martin tribe leader. Promptly, joy surfaced on his elderly face. First elder, you have truly let me down this time around. The celestial demon Martin tribe leader looked at Julie, before he frowned and spoke in a deep voice. Tribe leader? Julie was startled. Clearly, he did not understand why the tribe leader was reprimanding him. The heavenly cave is an important place to our celestial demon Martin tribe. However, the emo had planted the eternal illusion demon flowers within, causing all the experts who were undergoing a cultivation seclusion within, including me, to fall into a hallucination. If it is not because young friend Lin Dong snuck in to rescue us, it is likely that our celestial demon Martin tribe would have suffered a severe blow. The leader of the celestial demon Martin tribe cried out sternly. What? Julie's face turned ashen pale upon hearing this. In fact, Every celestial demon Martin tribe member below also stood up suddenly, with faces filled with shock. They were indeed being set up. A cold expression flashed across little Martin's handsome face. He vaguely guessed that something was amiss in the heavenly cave. However, he never expected it to be truly the case. Tribe leader, is this for real? Julie was trembling as he asked. Clearly, he had suffered a great shock. If all the top experts undergoing a cultivation seclusion in the heavenly cave were wiped out, their celestial demon Martin tribe would suffer a massive blow that could potentially lead to their downfall. At that time, they would no longer be considered as one of the four overlord tribes. Therefore, if this incident was true, he would not be able to atone for his sins even if he was to die 10,000 times over. The emo had indeed secretly planted eternal illusion demon flowers inside the heavenly cave. All the powerful individuals, who were undertaking a cultivation seclusion within, had all descended into a hallucination. Standing beside him, Lin Dong said. Young brother, may I know who you are? Julie hurriedly cupped his hands together before he asked in an extremely polite manner. Ha, my name is Lin Dong, Little Martin's sworn older brother. Little Martin is the one who invited me to the celestial demon Martin tribe. Lin Dong smiled before he glanced at Little Martin below. Since Little Martin called him over to deal with such a troublesome matter, he naturally had to take advantage of Little Martin as well. The Celestial Demon Martin tribe members in the vicinity were stunned as they turned to stare at Little Martin. They were well aware of just how proud Little Martin was. In fact, even the elders in the Celestial Demon Martin tribe could not get him to lower his head. Yet, this human called Lin Dong was actually his sworn elder brother? Standing below, when Little Martin saw the bewildered stares directed at him, the corner of his lips twitched involuntarily. This young friend Lin Dong is a pretty decent guy. At least, he is much more reliable than that little fellow. The tribe leader of the Celestial Demon Martin tribe said in a faint voice. Lin Dong laughed secretly in his heart. This father and son duo was quite interesting. However, he quickly regained his focus, before he turned somewhat sharp eyes towards the two Celestial Demon Martin tribe elders, who were standing in front of him, 
as well as Hao Jiayu, who was at a short distance away. First Elder, not only did the Yimo set a trap in the Heavenly Cave, but they have also snuck into your tribe. What? Julie's expression changed drastically. His eyes, which were glowing, suddenly became sharp. A frightening aura suddenly swept out from within his body and enveloped the sky. Everyone could feel that Julie was currently probing for the Yimo hidden amongst them. However, his probing was clearly completely futile. Hence, he withdrew his aura while wearing a gloomy expression a moment later. First Elder, the Yimo have many mysterious techniques and you will not be able to detect their presence by using an ordinary probing. Lin Dong laughed. Does young brother Lin Dong have a solution? Zhu Li was also an experienced individual. Promptly, he rotated his eyes and stared at Lin Dong. The latter was merely at the advanced profound death stage, yet, he was able to rescue the celestial demon Marta tribe leader, who had fell into a hallucination in the heavenly cave. This was not something that an ordinary profound death stage brat could accomplish. Leave this matter to young friend Lin Dong. The leader of the celestial demon Marta tribe smiled faintly. Subsequently, he took a step forward before his eyes swept across the square. Immediately, the surrounding Yuan power became a little violent. I wanna find out what Yimo, dares to act so wantonly within my celestial demon Marta tribe. Lin Dong nodded. After which, his eyes loomed towards the two elders of the celestial demon Marta tribe, who were planning to attack him previously. He smiled faintly and said, are the both of you going to continue concealing yourselves? This little brother. The both of us do not know what you are saying? The two elders' expressions gently changed. Promptly, their voice was a little hoarse as they said. Since you do not know, I will make the both of you show yourselves. Lin Dong smiled. He clenched his hand before an ancient stone symbol surfaced. A warm white light rose and transformed into a mysterious light symbol. After which, Lin Dong flicked his finger, before the light symbol split apart and turned into two light rays that enveloped those two elders. Sizzle sizzle. When the warm white light shone onto the bodies of those two elders, they immediately circulated their Yuan power in an attempt to block that light. However, they quickly realized that the white light posed no harm to them. Instead, they were stunned when they saw traces of black chi seeping out from the surface of their skin whenever the white light shone on them. Moreover, that black chi was filled with an extremely evil scent. You too. Julie's expression turned icy cold when he saw this scene. His sharp eyes stared intently at the both of them. Both of your bodies should contain a devil seed, am I right? It is unexpected that members of the celestial demon Marta tribe would actually accept such an evil object. Lin Dong looked at the two of them, who were currently bewildered, as he said with a faint smile. You. The two elders were bewildered, while a dark and vicious expression rose from within their eyes. Suddenly, the both of them shot forward while evil demonic auras surged from within their bodies. Their auras also began to soar at this moment. You two traitors. Julie released a furious roar. Taking a step forward, vast and mighty Yuan power gathered around him. Not only did his Yuan power contain a perfectly merged life chi and death chi, but it also had an additional mysterious ripple. It was the scent of reincarnation. First elder Julie had actually touched reincarnation. Hence, his strength far exceeded that of an ordinary samsara stage expert. First elder Julie waved his large hand before the sky dimmed. Following which, Two large glowing claws descended from the sky and directly enveloped the two elders, who were wrapped with demonic aura. Bang bang. When they saw this scene, the two elders threw a punch immediately. Following which, evil demonic aura transformed into ferocious large pythons that blocked that huge glowing claws. Then, their bodies moved before they rushed 10,000 feet forward. Clearly, their strength had soared with the help of the Yimo Chi. Humphrey. An icy cold expression surfaced in the eyes of the celestial demon Martin tribe leader when he saw that the two of them were trying to resist. He extended his hand and grabbed at the two of them from a great distance away. Bang! The space where the two of them were located collapsed almost instantly. After which, the both of them spat out blood due to the frightening pressure from their surroundings. Their auras also became feeble almost instantaneously. Two ultimate samsara stage experts were subdued the moment the tribe leader of the celestial demon Martin tribe made his move. The strength of a reincarnation stage expert was truly terrifying. The both of you are extremely senior elders in our tribe. However, I never expected that the both of you would actually commit such a traitorous act. The celestial demon Martin tribe leader's icy gold voice contained some fury, as it reverberated across the sky. Fury rose in the eyes of the celestial demon Martin tribe members below when they saw this scene. As members of the celestial demon Martin tribe, they possessed their own pride that was inherited from the ancient times. Yet, 
such an embarrassing incident still ended up occurring. The demonic whore has already invaded their minds when they activated the devil seeds. Hence, their minds have been corrupted. Tribe leader, there is no point in being angry at them. Lin Dong shook his head and softly said, right now, we should focus on eliminating the potential threats within the celestial demon Martin tribe. We will have to trouble you, young friend Lin Dong. The tribe leader of the celestial demon Martin tribe looked at Lin Dong. Devil seeds were extremely well hidden and even he had difficulties locating them. Yet, it was obvious that Lin Dong possessed some special means to do so. Lin Dong smiled and nodded. After which, his eyes swept across the many members of the celestial demon Martin tribe, who were standing below. Everyone felt a chill over their skin when they saw that pair of eyes looking over. Lin Dong's eyes swept over the jittery crowd, before he subsequently lifted his head. Finally, in front of many startled onlookers, his eyes paused on an indifferent looking Hao Jiayu. Brother Hao Jiayu, is there a need to continue hiding? Lin Dong's eyes stared at Hao Jiayu before he laughingly said. The entire place became completely silent. They were startled as they stared at Hao Jiayu, who was standing in the sky. Could it be that he was also corrupted by the Yimo?